Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to look at the game Fallen Frontier. I don't know if you've seen this game, but I have to say everything about it looks incredible. And I've planned to make a six video series looking at some of the key features of this amazing looking game and this being the first. Today let's venture into one of its core mechanics, building and upgrading structures. From what we've seen so far, Fallen Frontier showcases a fresh perspective on real-time strategy gameplay. As a player in Fallen Frontier, you're expected to wear more than just the mantle of an RTS commander. You're poised to become an interstellar architect, burdened with colossal responsibility. Each decision you make, each resource you manage, and each blueprint you lay down will echo throughout your expanding network of holdings. So meticulous attention to detail and a flair for long-term strategy are essential. Take, for instance, the concept of shipyards. These structures will likely be your industrial giants, the lifeline of your naval prowess, and the manufacturing houses where your fleet takes shape. But the developers envision them as more than mere production units. They could be a bustling facility where you could upgrade your ships, retrofit older models, and customize your vessels to better handle the vast unpredictability of space. There's a symbiotic relationship here. Your shipyards fuel your fleet, and in return, your fleet ensures the growth and safety of your dominion. However, it seems that maintaining your formidable fleet will demand an efficient supply chain. And here, the developers introduce the idea of supply depots. These potential logistic hubs could function as the lifeblood of your empire, ensuring a steady flow of essential resources. But the chain of resource management might not end there. The raw materials you gather from around the star system will need processing. This is where refineries could come into play and be the industrial core of your empire. It seems that these facilities turn your raw materials into vital resources, promoting growth and your prosperity. Fallen Frontier is about continuous evolution and expansion. As you explore the star system and progress through the game, the research tree will offer a myriad of opportunities. It seems that the research tree will allow you to push the envelope of your technological capabilities, unlocking a wealth of gameplay elements. It seems that the research tree will unlock innovative ship designs that will enhance the durability and adaptability of your fleet. You will be able to unlock efficient weapon systems, build advanced orbital facilities, and perhaps discover new colonization options to transform barren worlds into bustling outposts. So that concludes our brief look at the mechanics of building and upgrading structures in the upcoming game Fallen Frontier. If you found today's video insightful, I'd appreciate a hit on the like button, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Thanks again for joining, take care.